Action has been provoked by the move by Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli to dissolve Parliament and hold an early election next April. Defying coronavirus curbs on mass gatherings, more than 10,000 peaceful marches. The sense of outrage still strong a week after Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli chose to bring forward elections by two years, fearing a potential no confidence motion from members of his own party. Demonstrators joined by political rival and former Prime Minister Prachandra, the ruling Communist Party choosing him to replace Oli as parliamentary leader. The crisis prompting action from China, which has developed close ties in Nepal and has invested heavily in the country as part of the Belt and Road Initiative. Senior Chinese party officials arrived in Kathmandu on Sunday, this week speaking to key figures to assess the political situation. As the country's friend and close neighbour, we hope the relevant parties in Nepal can take into account the national interests and the big picture, properly manage internal differences and commit themselves to political stability and national development. Next month, Nepal's Supreme Court will continue hearing challenges to the dissolution. But hopes the country had entered a new era of political stability appear to be dashed.